You have heard of the Lord's Prayer, but are you ready to learn something you've never learned before? I know because it was something God gave me supernaturally. Here in Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, it says, Jesus saying, Give us today our daily bread. A simple prayer. Give us today our daily bread. Now, what is bread? Well, among other things, it includes money. You know, in the 60s, people would say, Hey, give me some bread, man. And what they meant is, is, is money, right? Uh, even today, we'll ask somebody, how much dough do you have? Dough? Well, they're not looking in a cupboard for flour. No, they're talking about money. You've heard the phrase, breadwinner. In other words, who makes the money in the, in the family? So Jesus is saying, it's okay to ask God for your daily bread. And you know why it's important to trust him for all of your needs? Because if you believe God is giving you the money, then that money is a holy thing. Just like God gave the children of Israel the manna from heaven. Where did it come from? Come on. It came from heaven. And if it comes from heaven, it is sacred. To emphasize how sacred it was, Aaron took some of the manna and put it in a jar. And where did he put it? In the holy of holies. It's to signify that bread can be holy and sacred. So if you believe that God gives you money, God gives you prosperity, then that money is a sacred gift from God. It's not a carnal, it's not a worldly gift, unless you think your hands got it. If you think you got it, then yes, it's carnal. But if you believe God's the one who blesses you, then it's a spiritual thing, it's a sacred thing. In this prayer, Jesus is telling us how we can pray for things, including health. Health is a, is a children's bread. Jesus said it's not right to take the children's bread and give it to their dogs. He's referring to health and healing and deliverance in that passage. So healing is a children's bread. So if you need money, if you need help, you can ask the Father for it. But are you ready? The secret to getting the prayer answered is right here in the verse. Verse 11, give us today our daily bread. Doesn't that seem a little redundant? Why don't you just simply say, give us our daily bread? Why does he specify today? Because he's telling you, don't look for tomorrow for the bread because if you're, if you're going to live stressful today, hoping that tomorrow will be better, you've missed it. You're to live stress-free now. You're to believe you have your bread now. Jesus in another teaching in Mark eleven twenty four 24 says, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it. He didn't say believe you're going to receive it. Believe tomorrow you're going to get it. No, believe you have. You have received it. That means today I live stress-free. Free. Today I don't worry about tomorrow. Today I believe I got my daily bread. That means I have to believe I have it now. When you start to believe you have it now, then the answer is going to come. It reminds me of a funny story I heard from Happy Caldwell. He's, he's now a pastor, but before that, he used to deliver beer to bars and nightclubs. One day he's delivering some beer to a bar and he saw a sign. It said, free beer tomorrow. He got excited. He told the manager, is that true? There's free beer? He goes, yeah, there'll be free beer tomorrow. He got excited. He told all of his buddies about the free beer. They all packed in the car. They went to the bar. They saw the sign. They got in, and they said to the bartender, we're ready for some free beer. And the, and the bartender said, sure, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. And some of you, you're waiting for blessings tomorrow. Friend, no, get it now. Be at peace now. Be joyful now. Don't wait till you get it with your eyes before you're going to believe you have it. Once you start to believe you have it now, then you live at peace. You're joyful. You're contented. You're not worrying about tomorrow. And that's the secret of getting your prayers answered is when you pray, you believe you have the healing now. You believe the money's now. You believe you have that new job now. You believe God's giving you your bread when? Today.